Hi everybody. Welcome to Healing with Love. Thank you so much for joining me today. So today is a bit of a, a heavier topic. Um, this Reiki is for uh, those experiencing the dark night of the soul. And um, what exactly is the dark night of the soul? A period of spiritual desolation suffered by a mystic or spiritual person in which all sense of consolation is removed. So, you know, that feeling that there is no joy, there's just, you know, it's almost a numbness uh, to what is going on in the world and around you and through yourself. So I, I've been meaning to make this video for quite a while and um, I was myself in that period. So I couldn't get, my, get myself to even um, create, you know, so sometimes we even lose that spark to create, that spark to write, you know, the things that bring us joy, everything just feels pointless. It just like, what's the point? Um, especially when we, we see how, what's going on in the world um, and how people behave towards each other and just, just the state of the world. And sometimes it can be disheartening. So we are going to maybe lighten the load a little bit. Um, I've got some tools here that I'm going to use. Um, and I hope that you, uh, you are here with an open heart and open mind with open hands ready to receive. Okay. So we are going to begin. Um, so I, I want to start immediately. We're just going to, I'm just going to light a candle. I'm going to try to do this as ASMR styly as I can. Now this is for cleansing negative energy, vanishing negative energy, bringing peace, love, and optimism. Okay. Just bring in the fire, right? We bring in the flame. Okay, and before we begin, so I just wanted to light that before we begin, please say out loud or in your head, I accept this Reiki from Maricela. I'm gonna move this for just a second. Okay, I'm just gonna just ding this energy real quick. And I'm gonna come back to that in a minute, but I just wanna just start with the symbols real quick. <clears throat> This is going to be this is this energy will flow to you in all dimensions of time and space wherever you are in every lifetime in every dimension beyond time and space. Okay? Okay, we got that energy flowing. Feel the heat coming at you from my hands. Okay, now I'm get, I, I have a couple things that I want to start with. We got the candle. Um, I'm gonna just gonna do a little bit of um, so we're ooh things are falling here. We're gonna do uh, I'm gonna just ding this bowl two more times. Um, the power of three. And this is um, the root chakra, okay? Because we want to go real, really to the root of it, to the root and the cause of, of, of this feeling, right? So think of it as, uh, you know, me throwing you, you are in the dark ocean, right? The dark night of the soul. You are in this dark ocean and you are almost drowning in a sense. And 
I'm here to throw you a lifesaver and to, to help you float, okay? So we're gonna do two more of these. Gonna move this over here. The candle right here. And I'm gonna start with um, a little bit of sage. We're just gonna clear the space. Clear any any lingering energy that is no that is not ours. And I'm also bringing out a peacock feather. And I'm bringing out the peacock feather for joy, right? For To help us, bring us back into that celebration of life energy where we are joyous. And I love the peacock feather symbolism as well of celebration of life, but also, um, you know, the eye. Oops, a little piece here. It's like the eye, the all-seeing eye. And what happens sometimes when we, you know, a lot of people that have their third eye open, they go through this dark night of the soul because now they see the truth. They see through people, through people's intentions. They see. And sometimes seeing can be very difficult. So, you know, it's about seeing beyond that to the core of things. Because at the core of everything is love. It's as difficult as things may seem on the outside. The core of everything is love. Okay, so we got that. I'm gonna do. Um, I also uh, also brought shaman stone out. You know, when we sh when we have a shamanic journey, it's you know it can take us to a very dark place. So this is almost like a light. And along with shaman stone, I have various dark crystals um, because, you know, the dark crystals, the black crystals, that's where we are. We are at the dark night of the soul and the black crystals, um, they are, um, they connect with us when we're in that dark, dark energy, in that dark night of the soul energy. Um, it's almost like they understand and it's comforting. So that's, this is why I'm bringing out merlinite, numite obsidian and black kyanite so um you know uh, various black crystals and, and, and smoky quartz as well and these are all grounding and rooting and and allowing us to trust we are grounding to the earth star chakra and we are we are uh it's allowing us to trust the journey trust that what's going on okay i'm gonna do a little 528 for the heart get a little selenite just to kind of just whatever this stagnant energy that's on in your energetic field um, just pushing it through right we want to just push that energy through we're going to start at the root moving it up to the sacral moving it up solar plexus moving it up to the heart, that compassion for the understanding for the journey, right? That compassion for others and ourselves on this journey, the hope, that light, that hope, that portal. Moving it up to the throat, being able to express ourselves and, ex and not being afraid to express ourselves, right? What you have to say is valid. Your experiences are valid. Moving it up to the third eye. And though we are able to see all dimensions in time and space, you can decide which dimension you're going to stay in. 
you know? A lot of people, they get stuck in certain dimensions of time and space where they feel like they can't escape their reality or their surroundings and they just want it all to be over with. But all you gotta do is tweak the frequency a little bit. Tweak the frequency and just get yourself out of that. And uh, I always tell people, um, before we get to the crown, you know, I always tell people to laugh. Find things to laugh at, uh, comedies, um, jokes, laughing with friends, laughing with family, just finding ways to laugh because that laughter really does raise your, your vibration. It can really pull you out from the depths of the ocean, right? It can really pull you up. It is almost like arm floaties, right? All of a sudden you're like, Whoo! it takes you out of that place. Sometimes a lot of people take the spiritual journey way too seriously. Conspiracy theories, all this stuff, you know, um, you decide your reality okay so we want this to see clearly we want to be able to see clearly we are seeing clearly we are seeing clearly I see and now we're gonna move up to I want to bring the peacock feather out again along with this and I want to get to the crown and realize that there is no separation we are all connected and sometimes you know that's hard, right? You see somebody who is the opposite of you and you think, how could I even be anything like that? And it's not that, these are just the shadow aspects, not just uh, of who we are now, but who we were in the past. I know I see a lot of people that are reflections of who I once was and I have compassion for them because I've been there. And a lot of people don't have compassion because they've never been there. And it isn't until you're actually in another person's shoes sometimes that, that you finally have that aha moment like, oh, I get it. So we want to remember that we are all one, all connected. If you're going through some a dark night of the soul, chances are that you know somebody that you love or you care about or a soul family, I'm sure that they're also going through it. And so what we want to do is we want to just find the light, find easy e easy things to, you know, pull us out like I said comedy laughter gratitude for the journey I know sometimes it's hard um, I always I say it sometimes it's like um, I don't know if anybody's ever seen Revenge of the Nerds or anything but there is a scene where they are being hazed with a paddle and they say thank you sir may I have another as they're getting paddled and it's a painful and humiliating situation and they're saying thank you sir may I have another and um, that's the initiation process right it's saying being thankful for these experiences as painful as they may be as humiliating as they may be they still um, are necessary for the journey and you know when you get when you get this deep if you know if you're at this video you've probably been at the point on this journey where you felt that I don't want to be on this journey anymore I'm done with this journey I'm just done I'm done with it um, you know there's a lot of a lot of things that you can't um, stand to see anymore you, you know things that are just and I look at people that are and I don't want to say that I'm any more ahead of anybody um, but it is a le like levels right like you know like a like a school you got the kindergartners who are the new soul spirits they haven't really experienced many lifetimes and then you have you know the the ascended masters ascended souls who are you know in the college of soul work right so when we see everybody as you know as just another part of us as the divine child within it makes it easier to to continue right no consolation and so I've also brought out um, leopard light and what I, this one is for is uh, this contains a lithium so this is great when you are having um, depression or you're having you know suicidal thoughts and ideas and you know envisioning and a lot of people once you realize that you can leave at any time it's it, it's harder to fight it's harder to fight that feeling because you already know that you know there's no hell there's nothing it just you just cut the journey short right um, but mostly people that do cut the journey short once they get to their side they kind of kick themselves like ah if I would have just held on a little bit longer so 
just hold on. It'll pass. This is just another part of the initiation process. It will pass. And I've got a few other crystals here. Um, just thinking about like, you know, when I go through the dark night, I, I honestly really do envision myself just giving up. Um, you know, I know that this is my purpose, but sometimes I wonder, um, am I fulfilled? Um, is this going to pay the bills, etc.? And I have a hard time accepting payment for, for what I do. So I always just, I always just have the faith that the universe is taking care of me um, for the work I do. So I'm bringing in Ruby to trust and have faith in the higher purpose, in your higher purpose and why you're here. Okay, we wanna trust. Trust the journey, trust the process, trust the universe. You are the universe. The universe is on your side, right? When we get, a lot of people get in deep into like conspiracy theories because they don't trust the universe. And I used to be very much into conspiracy theories, etc. cetera. Um, you name it, I, I was into it. When I had my awakening, I was shown things um, that, that were shown, you know, the things that I believed to be true or not true. and. Um, that the universe had my back. And so since then, that's what I do now. I have deep faith that the universe has my back. And here we have Amazonite with a little smoky quartz. So this is for life purpose. If you've been having a hard time trying to figure out your life purpose, what route you wanna take. Um, I always say anything you create, um, something out of nothing, I'm, I'm hearing, something out of nothing, a magic, abracadabra, right? When you take a canvas that's empty and you, you paint on it, you create magic. When you make a video on YouTube, right, it didn't exist before, you created it out of nothing, it's magic. Um, a song, singing a song, creating a song, you know, anything that's creative, you are creating and you are participating in the magic of the universe, so. That is, I'd say, many people's purpose here and tapping into that creative creativity can be difficult for many so we got the life purpose here Amazonite to kind of help you what brings your heart joy when you do it so and then speaking of joy I've got this beautiful Sun quartz sunstone quartz or um, Sun, yeah, sun, sun aura quartz. There we go. Beautiful little crystal. And this allows you to tap into your childlike nature. I love that it looks like a heart, but it also looks like a trans, the Transformer logo. So transforming, transformation, right? Think about what the things that you loved doing as a kid. What did you love doing as a kid? Some people loved playing video games. Some people liked doing um, acting, doing plays. Some people liked artwork. Um, whatever that is, tap into that. As an adult, people think that we have to um, grow up, but if you've never seen the movie The Little Prince, I highly suggest it because it's a reminder that our soul begins to die when we lose touch with that divine child within us. So I'm bringing this, this sun aura quartz to just bring a little sparkle and joy, right? A little sparkle and joy, like little fairy dust, a little sparkle, a little joy. Kind of just spreading out the energy you know sometimes we have like pockets of just a ball of like stagnant energy and you just touch it and it kind of just disperses right and then you touch that like it's almost like a little video game and then you touch that one and that disperses and you just keep touching it like a tap the tapping i don't know if you ever heard of the tapping energy when you're feeling depressed or in this dark darkness you kind of just do the tapping and uh, you know i like to tap all my chakras up and down my throat, my third eye, my crown, and just kind of just move my body a little bit. 
but tapping is great. It gets that energy flowing. Like a, you can do Tai Chi. It's very easy. You don't have to, you know, it's not strenuous or anything. Okay, and then we've got, um, I got a couple more that I'm gonna bring out. Of course, we're gonna bring out rose quartz for the heart chakra and um, emerald. I actually have it on my ring here. So these are to bring us back to our heart center, to love the portal, the main portal right here. Play with your pup pup if you can, if you got one or a kitty cat, All right? And then we got, I brought kyanite. I have two different kyanites here. I have blue kyanite and I have um, black kyanite. And then they're both for letting go of, of, of things that we cannot control, right? Um, like, you know, things that we feel, you know, let's say family or living situations or things like that. When we try to force things, um, it doesn't work out as planned. Like trying to, let's say you're trying to move, right? Trying to find a new place. And sometimes in that desperation of wanting to leave a, a situation, you don't think clearly and you make a move that, that was not for your best or highest interest and your highest good. Um, so this is asking you to just slow down, think about things rationally, make a list. Right? And let go of people, things, situations that are keeping you in that in that lower vibration, right? Sometimes, you know, we are the company we keep. And if we're around people that are constantly negative, we'll, we'll be there. So, you know, find ways to, if you, if you can't find uplifting people, take some time to yourself. You are your own best friend. Okay, and then, um... What else? Oh yeah, let's see. Um, I'm gonna bring a little carnelian in, orange carnelian, just to help with the creativity, right? So we're gonna bring in the, the childlike and creation. And I love this, I always love this little, because it looks like Nemo. It looks like Nemo the fish. Remember why you're here, right? Sometimes we forget and we get in this dark pit, forgetting just how magical the world can be if we just come up for air so breathing is great as well okay you are safe you are here for a reason Bringing in from the universe, pushing out to you. Bringing in from the universe. Pushing out to you. And lastly, I'm just gonna bring in this organite. Receptivity. Bringing in that energy to receive from the highest. Bringing it down.
Thank you. Namaste.